Millions of people worldwide are facing cardiovascular diseases within their body, not only within the heart, but it can be peripherally into the arms or legs. There are many factors that can cause clotting within those vessels. Inflammation, excessive stress, too much accumulation of cholesterol, as well as excess sugar, particularly those who are pre-diabetic or diabetic. But what's really exciting is this 3,000 year old herb that's recently been used for Alzheimer's as well as cognitive function within our brain. But now we're seeing something totally different. This is helping our blood sugar, opening up the vessels and helping a multitude of cardiovascular diseases. There are many clinical studies that have been done regarding this herb. Although the majority of these studies are outside the United States because it's not a pharmaceutical drug. So we're looking at arteries that have been clogged, narrowing blood supply to the heart, which is called a heart attack, to the brain, a stroke, or even to the lungs called a pulmonary embolism. When the blood circulation is not getting to these organs, then those organs eventually die. So having diabetes means you're having excessive sugar in the bloodstream, not enough insulin to allow the sugar to get into the cells of the body. So this miracle herb called ginkgo biloba is known to increase blood flow, prevent blood clots, reduce blood lipids, regulate the central nervous system, improve memory function, and improve cognitive function. Now, adiponectin is a protein hormone produced and secreted by the fat cells. It regulates the metabolism of fats. It also influences your body's response to insulin. So high blood levels of adiponectin are associated with the reduced risk of heart attack. And low levels of adiponectin are associated with heavier or fatter people who have a higher risk of having a heart attack. So this ginkgo biloba supports healthy circulation. It maintains the normal function and tone of the blood vessels. It supports the healthy oxygen and glucose metabolism in the brain. It stabilizes the capillaries and makes them less fragile. It supports normal coagulation of blood as well as supporting the healthy aging in the brain. So atherosclerosis can happen to any blood vessel in the body that placking starts to build up in the vessels, limiting oxygen to the associated organ or tissue that it's supplying. This ginkgo leaf extract contains several active constituents with neuroprotective and cardioprotective properties, supporting the nerves as well as the heart. If you are taking any type of antiplatelet drugs or any anticoagulation drugs, as well as potential painkillers like Motrin or Advil or even Naproxen, I recommend you always speak to your doctor first before taking this herb. The dosaging should be about 120 milligrams two times a day of the ginkgo leaf extract. This is effective particularly for the blood vessels. In the legs, you may have intermittent claudication where you're getting cramping because there's obstruction in those vessels or actually into the heart. Although, again, you wanna make sure you speak with your doctor before you do anything. Now, people have stayed on ginkgo biloba for many years. Ginkgo biloba has miracle healing effects for our cardiovascular system, not only our blood vessels, but the heart as well. It helps regulate and balance sugar. It helps strengthen the capillaries as well as the blood vessels. It helps reduce clotting within the arteries. I really hope that this makes miracles in your life. I ask you to share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day.